networks. Hello, welcome back to another FSD video. Today, we are in Silicon Valley testing version 8.2 in downtown San Jose. In this test, we unfortunately encounter multiple near collision interventions. We will also see many pedestrian and other interesting city scenarios, so stay tuned. If you haven't done yet, please subscribe and like this video if you enjoy the content. And with that, now to the video. Well, like usual, it's waiting for the whole intersection to clear. But now that it's clear, it's going right ahead. Yep, be more patient this time. Some pedestrians coming out and a red light. It decided to preemptively stop before the crosswalk. Yeah, it looks like it slowed down for the pedestrians. Try to give them some more space. You know, it slowed down again where this guy um, decided to enter. Now I wonder if it'll pull up like to the line. We're still yeah, got about you can't really tell. Feet. Yeah, a good nine, ten feet from the line. All right, now we got our green. It's a Greyhound station, wasn't it? Now turn left onto All right, not sure what it's trying to do there. Possibly going around potholes. Which of it is? I don't think it's yeah. programmed for that. I think it was just trying to find the lane. But if it was, that'd be amazing. All right, well, you can't see it's blind, so it's creeping. Our car is now coming from our left. Okay. It's stopping. It's now clear, and the car is now going. So it's deciding to come to a stop here at the crosswalk, even though there's no pedestrian. I'll see how long it waits here for. All right, treated it kind of like a stop sign, I guess. There was a pedestrian, if you looked on the screen, there was like a, you could see her on the screen and it recognized her, but she wasn't trying to cross. She was just walking on the sidewalk on that side. But Maybe, near the entrance of the crosswalk. Yeah, she was near the entrance of the crosswalk, so that might have been why it decided to pause a little bit. Turn right oh no, South it's Second waiting Street. behind a parked car. Yeah, so now I decided to turn right, but it's waiting behind a parked car. So we're gonna overtake that. Um, as you see, when we go around this car, in a normal city in a situation, this probably would be a right-hand turn lane. But in this situation, it's actually a uh, street parking. Okay, and in that time when I activated it, it tried to turn right into the railroad crossing, not the road. And the railroad tracks are definitely not a road. All right, as soon as the light turns green, it stops slowing down, which is actually kind of nice, but instantaneously. Whoa. It was very close to a curb right there. Yeah, wow, that was, I, it nearly just crashed my car into a curb, which uh, wouldn't have been very nice, especially to my wallet. Let's <laughs> right see what happens. All right, here it goes, it starts going. Just trying to figure out what lane to go into. Turn left onto East Sunset. Okay, uh, let's pull it into a parking garage. And now I just pulled us into a parking garage. As you can see, if, if that if those pylons weren't there, it would have continued into this. East taking a very long time at these uh, stop signs. There's a pedestrian now far to our right, not even close to the crosswalk. See him right there. You can see him right there. Yeah. Um, I, I had to hit the go pedal because in 500 feet, it just probably assumed he was gonna eventually enter the crosswalk street. and it was just giving him the benefit of the doubt to wait, which I've seen as a common feature in this new update, which can get very frustrating both for me and foot pedestrians outside and cars around me. Yeah, it's confusing for the pedestrians too because no one expects the car like 20 feet in front of you to wait yeah and then they think oh should i go do i not go and they get halfway in and then 
the car has to do more stuff in the neural network and then decide what to do. So now we're gonna turn left onto a one way. Let's see what happens. So it's waiting okay, for traffic there's... control. Okay, there we go. Okay. There's a bunch of pylons in the road. Let's see how it handles those. Okay. okay. That... I, I had to drastically take over not to hit those pylons. And the car behind me is now acting a little funny. So yeah, so uh, there was these little, as you can see, like these pylons right here, they were in the road exactly where you see them there. Um, it could be three lanes wide, but clearly the third lane is taken by pylons. Wanted to go there, clearly it can't, had to take over. Speed, turn left onto east. We're up here, we're going to have upcoming lane change to turn the right lane, but we have to go left, so we'll see what happens here. Now turn, okay, now let's turn the left east blinker east on. I'm being honked at. Oof. And we cut that guy off. That car behind us was not thrilled about that one. And there we go, we make the lane. Um, I decided to include the left repeater here. As we turn left, he flashes his lights and honks. We clearly cut him off while he was going much faster. And then here's the fisheye view. Obviously the fisheye will make him look further than he actually was. So the car behind us was easily going at probably about 15 miles an hour faster than us and it decided to just go left there. This car right here. That's probably the speed he was probably passing us up at when we decided to cut him off. Kind of interesting to watch. Let's see, so we have the right away oh no. now. Here's the car that it, was... <laughs> so we had the right away, but that car decided to go because the car here again waits for a very long time And that actually was the car that honked at us that we cut off in the prior intervention Actually, we didn't intervent that time. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just let it happen anything. to see what happens I gave yeah. it a little bit of the go pedal just just so that we This guy wasn't as ticked off as he was But very very little all right, we got a pedestrian on our right, yeah. slowly crossing. And a car on our left backing up. It's just gonna sit here. It's just gonna, yeah. Now the pedestrian is deciding to cross in front of us, so it stopped okay. again. And this is what I mean about how it just waits for everything to clear before it wants to go, and it gives everyone a little too much time when we easily could have Yeah, it could have just gone. Yeah. Another pedestrian crossing. It decides to stop way before the stop sign. And now it's just creeping up to the stop sign. So it tried to originally put us in this lane, which is again parked cars, but it did quickly realize its mistake and put us into this lane. It's a little type gap it slows down and it, uh, yeah, it handles it great. Oh look, here's another lot. So now we're gonna turn left on an unprotected left. This car is coming. Let's see what happens. It decides to pause. That car okay. turned already in the parking lot. Now we're done. Let's see if this turns us into the parking lot. I'm kind of curious. It says it will. All right, it's turning us into a parking lot, which is kind of impressive. Let's see how it does. There's a gate. I hope you can see it. Cool. is on the right. Cool. And yeah, and we've arrived. It saw the gate. I'm actually impressed. 